Welcome. My name is Cat Doc, and while I am a veterinarian, as the name of the channel suggests, I am not your veterinarian. No video, no article, and definitely not any online forum can replace a proper established relationship or conversation between a pet owner and their veterinarian or certified technical staff. I intend to inform and entertain, but not give out specific medical advice about your pet and your unique situation. I promise your veterinarian and their staff should be happy to answer any questions I may inspire you to ask. I've been a small animal practitioner for 27 years, and every year I find myself asking broader and deeper questions at the annual wellness exam about each pet's whole environment, a kind of holistic survey, if you will, of the pet's daily life with the intent of maximizing the pet's comfort and longevity. Tens of thousands of interviews later, I don't assume anything anymore. While I can do a full physical exam on an animal in a few minutes, I then spend over an hour discussing what I've nicknamed my longevity list with the owner. It's a lot of information, and most people's eyes glazed over after about 10 minutes in. I have been told I have a face for radio, so I thought it was a good idea to create these videos for my clients, as well as the general population, to inspire everyone to have discussions with their own veterinarian. Now, I am not a board-certified specialist. I am not claiming to be the sole authority here. If you discuss these things with your veterinarian, they'll likely have a longer or shorter or reorganized priority list. Sparking the discussion is the important thing. My cat and dog longevity lists are a little different from each other, and I need to re-emphasize that they're just my personal opinions and experience, though there are definitely studies to back me up. It helps the channel if you could hit the like button and subscribe, and yes, I have a Ko-Fi donation link which helps defray costs and incentivizes me to make more videos, but it's not the goal for the cat and dog longevity lists. Obviously, genetics, infections, accidents, and aging are completely out of our control, which is why the things that are in our power are of some importance to me. I've organized the list in a best bang for your buck order, which factors statistically add the longest lifespan to the most pets. Here's a brief overview or a glossary so you can choose which of the subsequent videos to watch. Cats first. Number one, the initial vaccine series and boosters one year later. Number two, keep them indoors only. Number three, clean teeth equals longer life. Number four, low stress. Number five, high quality food. Six, annual exams. Seven, blood testing, especially after seven years old. Number eight, a loving paranoia about their safety. Number nine, every three-year booster vaccines and heartworm preventative. Number 10, can you find your emergency vet at 2 a.m. in a rainstorm? Number 11, my cat just went missing. What do I do? The dog longevity checklist is similar, but not exactly the same. Number one, initial vaccine series and boosters one year later. Some vaccines are optional based on your dog's lifestyle. Number two, not being obese. Number three, clean teeth equals long life. Number four, low stress, family structure, expectations they can be rewarded for doing, and training. Number five, high quality food. Six, annual exams. Seven, blood testing annually for heartworm disease, and after seven years old, a senior screen. Eight, a loving paranoia about their safety around the house. Nine, booster vaccines. Ten, can you find your emergency veterinarian at 2 a.m. in the fog? So, enough for this intro video. Let's go on to the individual ones. Give your pets a chin noogie and some greenies treats from me, Cat Doc, though I'm still not your veterinarian.